Hello dreamers and welcome to one more YouTube pharmacology series myself Dr. Bharat Kumar VD. So today's weekly drug is lignocaine. Now as the name suggests lignocaine is a local anesthetic and it belongs to amide group of local anesthetic. How do I know that because it contains two I in the name. So let us understand the important aspect of a drug by the name itself. The first letter is L. L stands for lignocaine is a local anesthetic drug. The next letter is I. What does I stands for inactivated sodium channel. What do you mean by that? Whenever we give local anesthetic, they have a mechanism of action that is they block sodium channel. Which state of sodium channel do they block? They mainly block inactivated state of sodium channel compared to the open state of sodium channel. The next letter is G. So what does G stands for? The drug is given parenteral. Lignocaine is given parenteral. The next letter is N. So numbness. What numbness? It is mainly circumoral numbness which is seen during toxicity. Patient will complain that symptom. So it's the first symptom of lignocaine toxicity. Then the next letter is O. Oral it is not given. Why lignocaine is not given orally? Because it has high first pass metabolism. That's why it is not given oral. The next letter is C. Remember two things cardiotoxicity and in CNS it can cause seizures. So whenever the local anesthetics are high dose or when they enter system circulation there's a risk of cardiotoxicity leading to arrhythmias and in CNS causing seizures. So the next letter is A. Remember lignocaine is not only a local anesthetic it also remember A for antiarrhythmic drug and also it attaches to a plasma protein and that is called alpha 1 acetylcoprotein. So remember A for antiarrhythmic. I stands for intralipid. So what is intralipid? Intralipid is the antidote for local anesthetic toxicity. So it is used as 20% intralipid. The next letter is N. So it has no action on SA node and AV node. That's the reason it is not effective in atrial arrhythmias. Then E for eutetic mixture. So it is used as EMLA. It is called eutetic mixture of local anesthetic. It is used in the ratio of 1 is to 1 lignocaine and prilocaine. So they can penetrate the intact skin. So it is used during skin grafting. And remember another E that is they are effective in ventricular arrhythmias only. So the most important aspect of lignocaine we can remember with the name itself lignocaine. So that's it from this video. So if you like the content of the video please like it, share it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all.